Hide me, Lord, from insurrection. Hide me, Lord, from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Psalm 64, 2. Only I can hide you from those who are used by Satan to instigate insurrection. Now, insurrection is cruel, cunning, and rebellious treason against spiritual leadership. Satan created insurrection in heaven. He destroyed one-third of the angels. They lost their royal estate and their glorious existence when they began to follow after his persuasive, rebellious leadership. So I cast them out of heaven. After that, Satan instigated insurrection on the earth in the Garden of Eden. He brought rebellion against my spiritual leadership again and caused both Adam and Eve to fall from their royal estate and to be cast out of paradise. All through history, he has worked as an insurrectionist, using those who, by reason of envy and jealousy, were unstable. He created insurrection in the camp of the Israelites through Korah and caused the destruction of many lives, number 16, 1 through 50. Later he caused insurrection in Israel through Absalom and brought the nation into civil war, 2 Samuel chapters 15 through 18. Today he still sends his insurrection demons into governments, both political and spiritual. He sends them into churches, communities, and tour groups. He also uses the same scheme, the tongue of those who fall prey to his tactics. Who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows? Even bitter words, verse 3. They shoot secret whispers behind the back, trying to create the fruit of rebellion in others. They attack even the perfect, verse 4. They search out people's mistakes and weaknesses and then they enlarge upon them, Psalm 64, 6. They have an inquisitive spirit spirit that is nourished on gossip and slander. But the end thereof is their own destruction. I shall shoot at them with an arrow. Their own tongue shall destroy them, and all who see them shall avoid them. Psalm 64, 7 and 8. For I am God. The final judgment lies with me, not with the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall see my justice and shall be glad. They shall trust in me. And all the upright in heart shall be filled with my glory. Psalm 64, 10 